DBS community, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super video. And today we're going to be going over some of the blue unison reveals as well as some of the commons and I believe a few SRs. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the new cards that are going to be coming out in set 13. So first is going to be Pan and Giru Energy Fortification. It is a one drop unison with 10k power. It has a plus one. If your leader's mono blue saiyan, you may add one battle, one blue battle card with any cost of one from your energy to your hand. If you do, choose one mono blue card from your hand. Place it in your energy in rest mode. This is useful. This is obviously geared towards the uh, blue Gohan deck. I'm sure they'll find other homes for it. Uh, the minus two during your opponent's next turn, they can only tag with one battle card with an energy cost greater than the current energy. That's pretty good. Um, this is essentially a floodgate. Uh, this is a, essentially a a worse version of the Vegeta Unison from the Yellow has, but um, it is a floodgate, nevertheless. So you can play it on two, swing at something, and then minus two, and then just stop your opponent from attacking. Now the problem is that they can't attack once. That is the problem. So it is not essentially like Vegeta Unison. It is a lot worse because they can't attack once. So it's like I said, not not a great Unison, but it is something. There for tech options. Someone wants to try that. All right, we have Majin Buu Assault of the Agents of Destruction. This is a four drop SR unison that's a double strike blocker. Activate main, draw a card at the start of your opponent's next turn, switch this card to active mode if your leader is blue. Switch up to one of your blue mono, mono blue energy to active mode. Um, when your opponent attacks the battle card, you may choose one of their cards and place it at the bottom, <laughs> bottom of their deck. Uh, that's annoying. That is really annoying. When your opponent attacks with a battle card, you may choose one of their battle cards to play at the bottom of the deck. Whew. Well, um, this card is very interesting because you have essential in battle remove, in battle remover, removal. Uh, it's a four. It's a four cost to twenty k. This is the. First blue unison that's a 20k. No, 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 no. They have go tanks. This is this is very good. This is very good. Uh, being able to draw a card, swing with this card, and then restand this card, and then restand an energy every turn. This is a very good card. Uh, a lot of the heavy blue ramp decks, so SS4 Fujita, probably the Gohan. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's other ones I can find out. But this is a very good unison for four. Um, this fits very, very well in. Uh, and the minus one is extremely powerful, being able to inherently remove any battle card that doesn't have barrier. So your opponent swings in with Mira, um, uh, the Crater Absorb card. Uh, they combo everything. You know, they go in for game. They, they, you know, they do double strike. You just minus one, just bottom deck it. Uh, it's a very powerful card. It changes how your opponent has to play. That is for sure. Next thing to be Bojack on a Rampage. This is the 8-drop SR that we saw at the beginning uh, in the video, in the reveal video. It's a 30k double strike dual attack. X evolved for 5 energy. Draws 2 on top of a Bojack with energy cost of 3 or 4. So this is good. This is very good. So this is very good to know. The fact that you can evolve, evolve this card, draw 2. It evolves on any Bojack that is 3 or 4. Any Bojack. So this works with yellow. Thank God we get some form of yellow support for Bojack. Um, the auto is one blue, three any three any color at the end of the battle in which this card is used in a combo from your hand or energy. Draw one, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, place it at the bottom of its owner's deck, then play this card from your drop area in rest mode. So for four energy in the blue Bojack deck, you can cheat this card out. You can draw a card, bottom deck on a bottom deck a battle card, and play this card in rest mode from your drop area. Pretty good. Uh, auto once per turn. If this card is in rest, but when your opponent attacks with a battle card, choose up to up to one of your blue energy to uh, switch one of your blue energy to active mode, and switch one of your opponent's energy to rest mode. All right. So now we're giving blue the inherent power that yellow has. I'm not, I, I don't know, Bandai. We should, probably shouldn't be doing that. Leave that to leave that to uh, to the yellow decks. We shouldn't be giving blue that power too. But, I mean, this card can be played in the yellow deck, but, yeah, okay. Whatever. Bojack, the evildoer. Dual attack. Uh, one one red, um, bleh, one blue, one colorless. At the end of the battle, this card is using the combo from your hand or energy. You may play this card 
play this card from your drop area. When this card is played, choose that's one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, and as you see, most of the Bojack, I believe all the Bojack cards will have a 1k combo on them. Uh, but the Bojack leader, if you remember, reduces their cost by 1. So, they're, they're, they're doing this so you can't play these cards in other decks. Gokua, the Calamity, 1 drop. When this card is played, search top 5 from your deck, add up to 1 Bojack with energy cost 3 or less, or 1 blue unison with a specific energy cost of 4 among them added to your hand. Uh, activate battle. This card gets 11k in crit during the start of your next, until the start of your next main phase. Okay, that, that, that's pretty good. So, this card actually is inherently very good. Um, this is this is another target for, I think, I have my Bojack deck over here, I believe. Or, I guess the, I have the, um, the shell. I'm just going to look at some of these cards real quick. Um... Yeah, so the the Space Pirate Zanga, which is one of the older yellow cards, says, you play this card if your leader is Bojack, choose out the one Bojack card with, from your deck with energy cost of one, and play it. So you can play this guy out. Um, there's another card in here, the Beto. So Beto, Space Pirate Beto, this guy here, this is the searcher. Uh, when you, he can search top five, for a Bojack card, or place the card in the owner's drop area, choose five Bojack cards and any cost of two or less and put them in the drop area. So no color restriction, which is great. So that means a lot of these Bojack cards will work in the yellow deck. And um, as you can see, this card has a zero combo cost. So they essentially made this card so it could work in both sets. That's really good. That's really, really good. Um, so, you, so this is another target for your, um, for either your Beto or the uh, the Bujin, or the Bulgin card. So you can play this card out. Search top five. You also can search out the blue Unison, which uh, this for the blue for for the blue Bojack. That is the that's the Unison you can play to uh, awaken early, I believe. Um, but no, th this is a very good card. This is a very very good card for Bojack. Then you got the Savage, super combo. If your leader's blue and your life's at four left, when this card is used in combo from your hand, draw one. Choose, choose, wait, what? Wait, 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 If your leader's blue and your life is at four less, when this card is used in a combo from your hand, draw one, choose one card other than this card in your combo area and it gets 6K power for the battle. Okay, so this, so this must be the new set of super combos that we're getting in the, in the set. So it's it's an, it's inherently a 5k combo that draws you a card, but then it's 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 basically an 11k combo. So that's actually pretty interesting. So so these are one draw. So these are draw one 11k combos. And but but see the, the issue with this is that this is not a this is this is kind of a strange super combo because if this is the only card in your combo area, it's only a 5k combo. So essentially you have to combo with something first and then combo this card to then make it 11K. So that's interesting. So it's uh, it, it gives you some sequencing for comboing, which is pretty cool. Beto the Cruel, when this card is played, draw one, auto, well, not auto, activate, activate battle once per turn, one, yet one, one colorless. This card gets 11K and double strike. Another very good card. This is just a draw one. And it's another, it's another target for Bojack. Oh, thank God. I'm so happy. I thought all the Bojack cards were just gonna be 1K, co 1K cost and they only work with the blue leader, but no, this is good, this is good. So this card here and this here are extremely playable in the yellow Bojack and I think I'm gonna end up building it. I mean, I already have it. I already have the deck built, but adding this stuff is gonna be great. Um, unique blocker, if, if, uh, if your leader card is a Bojack, at the end of the combo, at the end of the combo went on uh, when this card was, um, if it was played from your hand or your energy, you may play this card. Play, play this card from your dropper. When this card is played, choose one of your opponent's cards greater than their current energy. It can attack or be used in a combo until the end of their next turn. This is another one. Now, granted, granted, this card is uh, 
is, is one of the 1k combos. But that doesn't really matter too much because Bojack plays blue-yellow, so you're going to be playing Sensu Bean and Restanding and Aegis and blah, 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 blah. Um, I do want to see if the Bulljin card... I think Bulljin only plays a 2 or less. Yeah, to Bulljin, the, uh, the, the old Bulljin only plays a 2 or less, so that's a little unfortunate. So you can't play this guy out for free. But he has a 1 cost. So you can combo with him. He's basically like a uh, like a Bardock Raiders War Cry for Bojack, where you just combo with him, comes into play from the drop area, and then he comes into play and then stops a card from attacking. Uh, that's really good. And you can do this on your opponent's turn too. That's really good. Um, Bulljin, the Commando, counterattack. If your leader is a Bojack Brigade, brigade negate the attack and play, play this card from your. Uh, uh, if you activate this card's counterattack skill from your energy, place the top card of your deck in your energy in rest mode. You can activate this counter card skill from, from, from your energy by paying its energy cost. You can, you can activate this card's counter skill from your energy by paying its energy cost and choosing one card in your hand and discarding it. This is pretty cool. So you can activate this card's counter skill. So yeah, so this is another card that you can play in uh, Bojack. Very, very cool. Beto the Evildoer. Um, unique, critical. One energy. If your leader is a Bojack Brigade at the, at the end of the battle in which you, once the card is used to combo from your hand, you can play it. Um, if it's your opponent's turn when this card is played, switch up to one of your blue energy to activate. So this is a free 15k crit if you play it on your opponent's turn. Activate main. Once per turn, one one energy. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and it costs three or less. Place at the bottom of the deck. Board removal. Very good. I like it. I like it. Zenga, the evil doer. When this card is used in a combo from your battle area or energy, draw one. Uh, I don't know if you play this one in the in the yellow Bojack. Because um, these are only 5k combos, but yeah, that's probably a blue one there. Okua, the evil doer. One blue at the end of the battle when this card is used in the combo area. Combo, play it. This card's played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, one, one or less, and place at the bottom of its owner's deck. So you have Black Mass Sand Removal. It's very good. Man, lots of Bojack, uh, lots and lots and lots of Bojack support. So, essentially, I've seen enough to make me think that Bojack, Yellow Bojack can, I don't know if you, Yellow Bojack can make a actual appearance now in the meta, but, um... Bojack being able to just have all this essential support that's blue um, is really good. Uh, also, giving us a um, an eight drop that can evolve as a just a pop, I mean, kind of as a win condition for five energy um, that draws you two cards, and you can play it on top of the three drop or the promo four drop that's never really been played before in Bojack because the eight drop, the current eight drop, only evolves on top of three drops. So. Um, now, is this card amazing? No. Um, is, is it a good card? Yes. Is it amazing? No. Um, being an 8-drop, it does get around uh, Frieza, so you're, you're, you're free to play this into Frieza. Um, but just having a 30k that, you know, swings twice and draws you two cards it, it, for, for Double Strike, it's, it's a very good cost. Um, it's it's a probably a good, good idea to run one of these or two of these. Um, you also can play this card out normally, I mean, for four energy, um, which, is, which is why they made these colorless, because they're, they're, they're not telling you to play it in yellow Bojack, but they're saying you can play it in yellow Bojack. So you, you combo with one blue, three of these, at the end of the card, uh, so, I mean, actually it's five energy technically, so that's not really that good. Um, technically, you could play it that way if you wanted to, if you wanted to play it out as a combo and auto, auto this, I guess. You can draw one, bottom deck a card, and then play this card in rest mode. Could, and then if your opponent attacks again, you can switch one of their energy to rest mode. So, I guess I guess you could, but evolving into this card is probably fine. Um, this card's pretty good as well. Um, it's not something that I would want to combo with, just because that's three energy for a 20k dual attack. It's not very good. This card's great. This card's going to be... I'm going to be putting this card in, in yellow Bojack. This card's absolutely amazing. If you're going to be playing Bojack... Yellow Bojack, buy this card. It's, it's, it's great. Um, 
this, the new the new super combos are very interesting. I want to see what the yellow one's going to be. Um, Beto, another very very good card. This is probably the best card that I've seen so far in the set for 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 for, for, the, for Bojap. It's a free play that you can play off of different cards, but it just draws you a card, which is the first card that does this because the other ones are all searchers. The other Beto is a searcher. The Gokua is a searcher. Um, um, the Zanga only plays out one drops. So you can, you can only hit Bojacks and Bulgin plays out a two drop. So all of these are either one or three drops. You, you can play this one out, but there's, there's better options. Um, crap, let me go back in here. Um, so this one, just being able to just net you a free card, it can be anything. It can be your secret rare. It can be, uh, uh, super combos. It can be negates, it can be whatever. And then for one energy, this becomes a 15 K double strike. Uh, which is great. That's a, that's a very, very good cost. I like that. Uh, this, this card is very good as well. It's, it's basically, it's a two drop blocker. Um, because for, for yellow Bojack, you have to pay this cost and this cost. Um, so, so it's basically, it's a two drop blocker. It's basically like the, um, it's like a weird version. It's not as good as the trunks TP that comes out in bottom decks cards, but this card allows your opponent to not be able to attack with a card or use it on combo. So that, that, that is pretty useful. Uh, this card's great. It's absolutely amazing uh, for four of uh, this. Plus, this is an uncommon, so I'm, I'm going to be getting a full play set of this in full art. Um, two drop, the two drop crit that restands an energy. Technically, a one drop crit, um, and I also can bottom deck a card. It's pretty good. Uh, wouldn't play this card in um, Bojack. There's no reason to. There's better cards. There's a, there's like a quick shift Goku of which is a one drop combo that bottom decks two cards and draws two that's better than this there's no reason to run this card um this this one's okay it's a two drop that you can play for the 20k that uh will pop black mass saiyans and stuff that's that's cool um not not great though for yellow bojack um the, this is not a great unison it's there it has it has it has some uniqueness to it um but it's not great there's definitely better blue unisons but it is technically a floodgate uh, and then this is a very powerful unison in itself, uh, being a being a double striker that can also restand and draw you a card and re and restand an energy. And then you can bottom deck a battle card during the battle phase, which is insane. Um, they uh, you're if you're playing if, you, if this card's on board and your opponent has the ability to minus one, you can never swing in with units. You can never swing in with battle cards and go for game because they're just going to they're going to wait for you to just commit and then they're just going to minus one and then just remove the battle card. So. Very, very good. Um, yeah. Um, all in all, good cards. I want to see what else what else we have for blue. Um, yeah, this, these, these are very, very good. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll go over the uh, the new set of cards tomorrow. Uh, to be back same time tomorrow for some more card reveals. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good rest of your day.